so today we are going to talk about one uh, ab initio scenarios okay so let's say we have three uh, data sets okay and while describing the data set we would be knowing i mean what it is okay i mean other properties we'll see i mean what best we can do and uh, best utilize we can do you know the ab initio components and try to achieve a, a best optimum solution okay well performing solution generic solution basically so the thing is like we have a first data sets we have a country id and country name let's say and second is a data set country id then state name and state id so this table i can label it is a country so country specific data and then this label is a pro province or state you can say that and this is called the city okay city population of the city and city name city id and state id so if you look at the data set so so these are all interrelated data set right city the c data set is belonging to the b data set and the reference key is state id similar the country id is the reference between country and the state so while looking at the data set and uh, we can say that data set c is very very big and then the data set b and then the data set c a right so a would be like very less record right and it is c is going to be the way very, very very large basically so <clears throat> what we have to achieve is the output should contain country name total population we have to generate the country wise population report and we requested to do the optimal design okay so there are multiple ways of doing this uh, this exercise basically so we can have a third c data set as an input right then we in the, within the reformat we can call upon and in lookup we can call on second lookup and then again we can have a reformat and then first again it is called you know second is like uh, i can uh, from the city i can get in the state from the state i can get the country and then from the country i can get the country name right and then i will do the roll up based on you know country by here i will be having the country id right country id country name so i can do the roll up and then i will have the two columns total population and the so this is one way of doing it and the another way third as an input reformat second and first lookup so what we can do is we can within the first within the second you know within the first reformat itself i can uh, you know derive the country id and the state id both and then i will do the roll up i will have every key and i have all the population at point in here i can just do roll up based on the country and the, this one country id and the country id i can do the roll up so this is another way third is third and second as an input of join driving would be third because it's a huge data set and join and we can call upon uh, uh, after join there is a reformat and we can we can enrich the country id and country name and then do the roll up and then we'll have output and the fourth would be like uh, third as an input then do the roll up then there is a reformat look up second and first then roll up and this one so while looking at these solutions right so we have to have you know the optimal solution right so if i look at the 
you know most of the people would be answering first and second right third is input is good okay third input is third as an input is good because it's in a huge so we have to start with that huge file first and then this is a you know multiple lookups if you're calling lookup from here you will have to you know lot of lookup calls here because third data set is very very huge and you have to co look up and then again you have to call all those lookups right so we have 10 million records i have 10 million lookup call here again 10 million lookup call so this doesn't seem a very promising or very good solution here also in the reformat you know i have to call 10 million lookup and then roll up and light this also looks like kind of it's a come it's a good but then this one but i mean i mean there is no less lookup call right so the thing is like i am using another component but here i am using the same component i'm calling the lookup the number of lookup call is same just is one one uh, component has been reduced so that too it doesn't matter because it's in reformat right so these are the kind of one and two are mostly uh, comparable or i would say not much difference third is i have a join component so this is a memory intensive component and we will have a lot of records over here out of join right so we will have to have all these record over here and then i have to call the lookup those many lookups which i am calling here right so those that this is replaced here and but this reformat has been replaced by the intensive join memory right. so this join would be you know it has to it has to sort the data right now and then there's a roll up and everything else is same so okay answer four is third as an input then roll up do the roll up random roll up so that you can minimize the you know number of records basically so i have this data set i can do roll up based on let's say state id because I have to achieve the population, right? Let's say state ID and city ID. Both I can do. Sorry, state ID. Right. And then uh, I will have, you know, kind of less number of records over here. Then I can call the lookup and then roll up again with proper keys. And then the output. So, because I have reduced the number of records in this rollup, this solution is perfect. Sometimes you don't worry about the number of component increased. If you compare this one and this one, so there are more component over here, but the memory requirement altogether is less. Because here I'm doing doing the roll up, okay. So randomly in the st based on state ID ID, I can reduce the number of records, right? If once you have less number of records, if you are let's see here, here, right? You have the total population, you have the less number of records, then you can easily call you know second first lookup on those reduced number of records. This this reformat will have you know most uh, less costly than these reformats these reformats and then again i can do the roll up based on country id right and then we'll have to so while looking at all those solutions looks like this solution is perfect solution it can fit in in multiple use cases basically so some most of the thing is the transactional uh, data set is going to be huge you know the city and all but these reference data set right city is country or state is they are you know very very less than that so in those kind of scenarios right 
we just you know try to minimize the number of records at the first place basically so that we have to call less number of lookups in the following graphs following uh, component so this is i want to discuss with you while designing the kind of solutions right so please subscribe my channel and we are going to see many more uh, use cases of this type and also multiple new concept in abinitio thank you so much